This movie may have clocked in at over three hours, but there was still so much we didn't see. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 deleted scenes from Titanic. Oh, not to worry. Quite normal for this time of year. For this list, we're looking at scenes from this epic movie that didn't make the final cut. Everybody expects me to be this delicate little flower, which I'm not. I'm sturdy, I'm strong as a horse. Number 10, Fabrizio and Helga. While Titanic is, of course, about the sinking of this infamous ship, it's also about the love story between Jack and Rose. Considering these two strong storylines, we can perhaps understand why the final cut omitted an additional love story between Jack's friend Fabrizio and a woman named Helga. Helga, per favore, huh? you come with me now. I'm lucky. It's my destiny to go to America, please. In this heartbreaking scene, however, we see the two characters bidding one another farewell, with Fabrizio promising that he won't ever forget her. Unfortunately, viewers of the film know that this romance was not destined to have a happily ever after. Come on, I will never forget you! Number 9, Ida and Isidore Strauss. One of the most poignant moments of the film comes when the ship is sinking, and we see an elderly couple huddled together on their bed as their stateroom fills with water, spelling their impending doom. The couple is Isidore and Ida Strauss, who were real-life figures on the Titanic and the former owners of R.H. Macy & Co. In this cutscene from earlier in the film, we see the couple arguing on deck and making the decision to stick together no matter what. We've been together for 40 years, and where you go, I go. Don't argue with me, Isidore. Knowing what becomes of them makes this scene all the sadder. Number 8. Jack Fights Lovejoy In this extended version of the scene we saw in theaters, Cal's valet Lovejoy tries to hunt down Jack and Rose after learning that Rose has the valuable diamond necklace in her pocket. Like something out of a horror movie, Lovejoy manages to track them down in the rapidly flooding dining room. I've been looking for you, miss. When he finally comes upon them, Jack attacks in order to protect Rose. The two come to blows, fighting in the water. But of course, Jack manages to get the last laugh before he and Rose escape. Compliments to the Chippewa Falls. Number 7. Brock's Dilemma. Fans are divided on how much they enjoy the framing device used in Titanic, where Brock Lovett listens to Rose's story in order to find the heart of the ocean. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go to bed, can you give us something to go on here? Like, who else had access to the safe? What about this Lovejoy guy, the valet? Did he have the combination? That's enough. In this scene, we see Brock getting more and more desperate as he's pressured to hurry up and locate the diamond before his endeavor is shut down. This is three years of my life going down the drain here. I bet everything to find the heart of the ocean. We also see Lovett talking to Rose's granddaughter, Lizzie Calvert, about how badly he wants to find it. But she's far from impressed and rebukes him for trying to use her to pressure her grandmother. I need your help. I'm not going to help you browbeat my 101 year old grandma. Came down here to tell you to back off. Number six, Rose feels trapped. In the theatrical cut of the film, we see Rose eating dinner with the other members of first class and feeling stifled in her predictable life. I felt like I was standing at a great precipice with no one to pull me back, no one who cared or even noticed. Shortly afterwards, we get a shot of her running across the deck in a quest to end her life by jumping off the railing of the Titanic. This deleted scene was supposed to take place in between those two moments, showing Rose back in her room, struggling to get her own dress off but unable to without the help of her maid. <laughs> Her physical confinement is a clear metaphor for how emotionally trapped she feels in her own life. Number 5. Come Josephine Throughout the movie, we see snippets of Jack and Rose singing the song Come Josephine. Come Josephine, my flying machine going up, she goes, up, she goes. Considering we only get a bar here and there, it makes sense that there's actually a deleted scene where the couple sings for longer after the evening that Rose spends dancing in third class. Come Josephine on in my flying machine and it's up she goes. goes. The pair walks on the deck singing joyfully until they come upon a sign that shows they've reached the limits of where they can go together. It would have been nice to see the couple singing the song together in this happy moment before it was recalled later in the film. There, there she, she goes! goes. Up, 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 a little bit higher. Oh my! The moon is on fire. Number 4. Down to Third Class one of the most memorable scenes in the movie takes place when Rose visits third class and dances with the commoners. But in this scene, we get to see their living quarters during the daytime. 
We understand why the scene was cut because it doesn't add much to the story, but we get an additional glimpse into life in the lower decks as rats scurry across the floor and Fabrizio teaches Helga how to pronounce his name. Fabrizio. 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 We also get to see how much first-class passengers are revered, based on how everyone stops what they're doing when Rose walks into the room. Hello, Mr. Dawson. Hello again. Number 3. Extended Carpathia In this extended sequence from the end of the film, we see more of Rose's rescue aboard the Carpathia, the ship that eventually brought her and other survivors to the United States. The most remarkable part of this scene is seeing J. Bruce Ismay, the managing director who urged the ship to go faster in order to make headlines, being stared down by the women and children who lost their husbands and fathers when the ship sank. The scene is consistent with his portrayal in real-life media after the disaster. Number 2. Alternate Ending Did you know the Titanic had an alternate ending? And no, unfortunately, it was not one where Jack miraculously survived. Oh my god! Jesus! In this version, the film comes to largely the same conclusion, except that before tossing the heart of the ocean into the sea, Old Rose is confronted by Lovett as she stands on the edge of the ship. You had it the entire time? <sighs> Though the original ending is still somewhat divisive, we definitely prefer it to this version, which ends up coming off as a bit preachy and cliched. Say what you will about Rose choosing to rid herself of the necklace, but at least we didn't have to hear a speech about it. You look for treasure in the wrong place, Mr. Lovett. Only life is priceless, and making each day count. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Boiler Room Kiss Oh God! What are you two doing down here? You shouldn't be down here! It can be nice! One of the most visually stunning scenes that did make it into the final film takes place in the boiler room, as Rose and Jack evade Cal's valet. Carry on! Don't mind us, you're doing a great job! Keep up the good work! We can't imagine why James Cameron opted to cut the scene short, omitting the part where Jack pulls Rose in for a passionate kiss amid the steam of the boilers. It's a romantic moment that shows the physical connection between our two leads, and gives their fans an extra glimpse at their happiness before things start to go seriously downhill. We'll never let go. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.